With the AI Texture Generator, you can easily type in keywords to generate different texture images to choose from to create new fabric textures. Select a fabric in the Fabric window. Under the Fabric Properties, Materials, click the AI Generator button on the right side of the basic parameters. Select the desired fabric type. Under Content Type, select the type of texture image you want to choose. Enter the text prompt. Listing the desired words, rather than a long descriptive sentence, can generate more effective results. Click the Generate button and check the generated image in the preview window. Please note that at the release of 2024.1, prompts can only be entered in the English language. The generated image is stored in history. The generated images will remain a preview until you click the Apply button. Click Generate again to generate more images. Previously generated images with prompts are recorded as histories. The history remains accessible until Marvelous Designer is closed. The AI Graphic Generator is similar to the AI Texture Generator. Easily type in the keywords to generate different graphic images to choose from to create new graphics. Add any graphic image to a pattern using the Add Graphic 2D Pattern tool. Under the Graphic Properties, click the AI Graphic Generator button to the right of the basic parameters. Here you can set the content type, transparent background, and enter prompts. Once you've done that, click the Generate button. The generated graphic is stored in history. Click Generate again to generate more graphic images. Click Apply, and the selected image will be applied as a graphic. In the Property Editor, under the Graphic Configuration, select the desired tile type, and you can use the Transform Graphic tool to adjust the transformation, rotation, and scale of the graphic. PPR maps can automatically be generated and applied to graphic images or imported base color texture maps. First, use the Graphic 2D Pattern tool to apply a graphic image to the pattern. Select the graphic using the Edit Texture tool. And in the Property Editor, click the Create PVR Map button next to the Map Channels. In this example, the normal map is generated. And you can adjust the intensity for the general normal map in the Property Editor. The generated PBR map is automatically stored in the App Data Path in your PC. Click on the Map Thumbnail image to check the Save Path. Create PBR map is supported for displacement maps, opacity maps, roughness maps, and metalness maps. This feature applies to fabrics, buttons, trims, graphics, buttonholes, top stitching, and puckering. You can now manage trim styles in a trim window. Go to any window drop-down menu and select Trim. To load trim styles into the trim window, you can import OBJ or FBX files as trim types. Click Add button to the trim window and add your file. Or you can drag and drop trim styles into the trim window. Drag the style from the trim window to the 3D window to apply and glue. You can select your trims in the 3D window. Then in the trim window, you can click the Assign button to replace the trim styles onto existing trims. By clicking a trim style in the trim window, you can change the properties of all assigned trims all at once. And you can easily save and load trim files with the Open slash Save button in the Trim Style property window. Cloth simulation and avatar animation can now be exported and imported with USD file format. Go to the main menu, File, Import USD, and select your USD file. The Import dialog box is similar to the other file types, and you can set your load and object types here. Change scale preset if necessary. In Marvelous Designer, the Y axis is up. Under Axis Conversion, select the Up axis using the application where the file was imported from. Marvelous Designer will compare the Up axis to the incoming file and apply conversion if necessary. Click OK, and the USD file will be imported. The USD layer window will automatically pop up if it's not already visible in the workspace. We can then view the prim path for the imported USD file. Since this file contains skeletal animation, an animation track is created in the animation window. Create or import garments and record a simulation. Cloth simulation can be exported to the existing USD file. Make sure the USD file you are exporting is set to the authoring layer. 
set prim path for both mesh and material. Under Option, make sure Cache Animation is selected. Click OK and check in the Layer Editor. Mesh and Material have been saved to the Set Prim path. Since Pattern Cache Animation is exported as a mesh itself, there is no separate animation type prim. To export patterns and avatar at the same time, select the avatar first and then select the patterns. And in the Export option, make sure both Joint Animation and Cache Animation are selected if your avatar animation uses Joint Animation. We have added a new view option in the 2D window to display the layer number and color code to help visualize layers. Click the Show Pattern Layer option under the 2D Information icon to activate. If a layer function is applied to pattern pieces, the layer number will be indicated and patterns with the same layer will be the same color. Layers 1 through 23 each have a different color value, and this repeats from 24 onward. Negative layers are applied in the reverse order of positive numbers. Click the Show Pattern Layer option again to deactivate. And Layer Depth Display will automatically turn off when switching to another 2D pattern rendering style. The 2D Pattern Ruler Display toggle is located under the 2D Information Show Ruler. Right-click on the ruler to change the unit. The ruler will automatically scale when zooming in and out in the 2D window. To change the ruler origin point, click and drag at the empty square in the upper left corner of the ruler. When the mouse click is released, the origin point is set to the crosshair position. To reinitialize the origin point, double click or right click in the empty square in the upper left corner of the ruler. Click and drag either the vertical or horizontal ruler to create guidelines. The created guideline will automatically snap to segment points of patterns. Hold down the control key on the keyboard and drag to create a guideline of the opposite axis. When moving patterns, a segment point will snap to the adjacent guideline. Right click on a guideline to bring out the options. You can delete a guideline or delete all guidelines. Lock one or more guidelines. Or create more guidelines offsetting from the selected line. In the pop-up menu, select the number of offsets. When offsetting from individual lines, you can apply different distance values to each guideline. You can also reverse the direction. Or create on both sides. When distance is set to all, same distance offset values will apply to all guidelines. Show guideline can operate independently from the show ruler. This way you can hide or unhide guidelines using the show guideline toggle under the 2D information. The UV packing algorithm has been improved to obtain better quality results. Select UV shells and click the UV packing button. A new parameter, Fidelity, has been added. The larger the value, the more sensitively the shape of the UV shells is calculated. We also added an Advanced Placement option. When Advanced Placement is turned off, the UV shells are placed sequentially from largest to smallest. But when Advanced Placement is turned on, numerous sequences are tested to find a better placement to create the least empty space. The Advanced Placement option will decrease the speed. So unless in extreme situations, it is recommended to turn on the Advanced Placement option. UV padding pixel value can now be adjusted or set to infinite during texture baking. In the UV Editor window, click Bake Texture and set your safe path. Set how many pixels to pad the UV shells by. Then you can select the texture maps you want to export and click Save. If you set the Fill Texture Seam pixel value to be too large, the UV seam padding may invade the other UV shells. The extended seam can also be set to infinite to avoid this. You can now hide the color of the state applied to patterns and mesh. If states like freeze, solidify, strengthen, and layer are applied to patterns, you can hide the color display in the 3D window by right-clicking in the empty space in the 3D window. Click show and hide color of the selected state. In the same right-click menu, select the show all to bring the color back to display. This feature will also work with selected mesh. 
Partial freeze, subdivide, solidify, and strengthens color can also be set to hidden. Partial pose functions are added to allow for hand poses. Hand poses can be applied to the avatar with HPOS files and POS files for Marvelous Designer Female Version 2 and Male Version 2 avatars. Import a pose file, and in the pop-up window under Partial Pose, you can select both hands, right or left hand to apply the pose for the hands only. Simulation is automatically turned on and the hands are transitioned from the original pose to the newly applied pose. The HPOS file format deals with only hand poses. Hand pose can be applied differently to each hand. And if multiple avatars are loaded, you should first select the avatar to apply it to.